For the first time ever, the U.S. Open is truly open. Nearly 1,200 players competed in the U.S. Open national playoffs held throughout the country. The two left standing earned a wild card into the U.S. Open qualifying tournament. With three more wins on the outer courts, they'll have a chance to play on the biggest stage in tennis. I'm thrilled to be here. Um, this is the hugest tournament. I mean, it's amazing to uh, have this opportunity. I'm so excited. When I first heard about the playoff, you know, I knew it was something I definitely wanted to do. Um, I was really excited, you know, to sign up. And um, I knew that no matter what other tournaments were on my schedule, I was definitely going to make room for that one. There's a lot of girls, you know, that want it really bad. Well, every match was tough. Every match was different. You know, playing in the stadium for my final, um, I'd never played on that court before. So um, it was a big moment. And um, I feel like I played really well, so I was happy with that. I definitely think the fact that I've been here before will help maybe, you know, emotionally handling the situation and playing on these courts. There's no bigger stage than the U.S. Open, for sure. So um, playing here definitely is going to be a different experience, but also playing in Stanford definitely prepared me for it, too. I want to qualify. I want to go far in the main, so we'll see what happens. On the men's side, Blake Strode has been putting off a big decision, whether to attend Harvard Law School. How he fares this week? could have a big impact on some big dreams, either way. I think just knowing what the end result could be, you know, knowing that I could make it back to the Open that way, um, you know, was enough of a prize at the end to entice me to play. By the time we got to Atlanta, you know, everyone had won a sectional event, so everyone had won some pretty tough matches to get there. Everyone there was a good player. My first, I think three out of my four matches were three setters. Um, and so every match I kind of had to battle and really be ready. It was so hot. We started and the sun was still out and it was, you know, 100 degrees and whatever. And uh, it ended up being like a three hour match by the time we finished. You know, it was nighttime and it's still hot and humid and playing under the lights. Um, and it just seemed like, you know, that goal of getting to the open, getting that wild card was so close, but the match was so tough that it, you know, it was just back and forth and it would get close and then further away. So when I finally finished it off, it, it felt really good. Anytime you play that many matches, it really prepares you well. You know, I had to play nine matches to get here, so uh, I don't feel like I'm starting from zero. I feel like I've already worked, you know, to get here. So I've been here twice now. Um, hopefully I'll make my best tennis moment while I'm here this, this week, so we'll see.